Today we're going to take a look at the Butel ARC XT software and we will program in a conventional system and a trunking system using this software. Before we do anything we need to take a look at radioreference.com at the two systems we're looking to program. So what we will do is we're going to program here at Scanner Master, we're going to program in Holliston, Massachusetts, which is listed under Middlesex County. So we'll click on our state and then our county. And then once we have the county page pulled up, we'll scroll down and look for Holliston. All the cities and towns are in alphabetical order, and we will see Holliston right here. And it looks like their police and fire are analog conventional. Now the Massachusetts State Police, let's take a look at that. We're also going to program that as well. So we will go back to the Massachusetts main page and then we will go and look over here, choose by agency, and we will look for the State Police, which is right here. Now it looks like um, they have two trunk systems. I know that this section of the state is under the analog system. A new digital system is being built out, but it's not quite here as of yet. So we're going to click on Massachusetts State Police. Now the first thing to note is all of the uh, towers that are, that are around. The one that we're going to need is the Central Massachusetts Tower. We're going to program that one in. And then I know that our barracks here is C Troop. So I'm going to program in these talk groups into the scanner. Now that I've done my research, I will go back to the software now. Now back at the software, we're going to go up to the Internet tab and then click on Radio Reference. Now this dialog box pops up and we will hit Connect. If you haven't already, please enter your Radio Reference username and password here and then hit Connect. But I'm already... Uh, in the software so I don't have to enter in the username or password. So now I will go to select state and then scroll down to Massachusetts. And now we're going to select the county which is Middlesex and then we will do conventional frequencies now the conventional frequencies have loaded, so now I will do under municipalities, I would open that, and then I'll find Holliston, which is right here. And it looks like I've gotten both the police and fire frequencies. Now I will hit import. And now you look over here, there's a folder that shows Middlesex. I'll show you a little bit more once we import in the state police. And I'll just click on this so it redoes Massachusetts again. And then we will go to trunk systems. Since it's a statewide trunk system, it should be listed. It is. So now we have on this dialog box, we have two sides. We have the sites and then we have the talk groups. So as I mentioned earlier, the site that we want is Central Mass. So I will click there. And then on this side, I will scroll down and look for C Troop. And I found C Troop, so I'll click here. And then I will import in the Central Mass Tower and the talk groups for C Troop. Now that I've imported everything in, now I can just click on the X and close that dialog box. As you can see here, I have Holliston Police and Fire and the name of the folder is Middlesex. And then here, Mass State Police. I can change this so it says Mass State Police, abbreviated, Mass State PD. And then here I can change the group name to MSPC Troop. Any of these locations, you can clean up things. Um, you can change alpha tags here if you like. Um, for instance, I'll do it up here. Since it's the group's name's Holliston, and then we have Holliston Fire, we can actually change this to Fire Dispatch, 
and then we can change this one here and now this is all set we basically have uh, done some work with the alpha tags and we've updated some of the folders one last thing we want to do is we want to set this so it's got a system quick key so right here you can set a quick key any number from 1 to 99 we're gonna make the Holliston one uh, system quick key number one so that means it's system one um, in the scanner the mass state police we're also gonna give this a quick key but we're gonna do this under the site in order to do that and you would scroll here and then you can see here we can do 1 through 99 we're gonna do this as number two so then on the scanner it's gonna show at the bottom of the screen system one and system two and then you can turn off any one of these systems uh, while scanning by pressing the corresponding number on the keypad now we're ready to download the programming to the scanner so what we're gonna first do is we're gonna go up to the scanner tab and then we're gonna do a communication setup and now we will have the software auto detect the scanner and it looks like the ARCXT has successfully detected our scanner so I will hit OK here it looks like it's located on COM3 so I'll just hit OK here and that's all set now I will go to upload to scanner click there and now what I want to do is select all so we're gonna program both of these systems and then we will um, we will send this to the scanner so there's a few options before you do so so if you want to clear out what's in the scanner you would check off this box it would delete all systems first um, if you have these systems already and you made some minor edits you would click here to overwrite systems with same name and then this last box is just sending system quick key statuses so if you've done some work with that you could have that box checked off we don't need any of these boxes checked off for this uh, programming session so I will hit send to scanner so right now it's sending to the scanner and once the dialog box closes just like the way it did that means that the scanner has been successfully programmed so you officially have programmed your scanner.